What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. In this we have India's Star Wars laser shoots down swarm of drones. So they getting into the laser business. I know I seen a video not too long ago about America investing in a weapon like a laser um, that could take down drones uh, because it's a much less expensive. If you watch what's going on with Ukraine and Russia, um, drones have played a big part in that war and it's just too expensive to like shoot them down with like missiles or anything like that it, it, it wouldn't make sense um so they got these lasers that it will be much much more cost for to be able to shoot down so i'm guessing that's what india's got right here we're going to jump in before we do if you guys happen to enjoy don't forget to smash subscribe get a video a thumbs up also, if you would like to support this channel by becoming a member, all you got to do is hit that join button to receive your exclusive benefits. Let's dive in. Picture this. A swarm of drones buzzing towards Indian skies, then a flash of light, precise, silent, and deadly. Mm. In seconds, the drones are shot down. That's crazy. This is not an idea from a fictional thriller. This is India's new reality. In India has successfully test-fired a homegrown laser weapon. The laser beam burst the targets into flames. And all of this happened with pinpoint accuracy. Damn. India is now part of an elite club. Only the US, Russia and China have tested such a weapon. Okay. Our next report has more. On the 13th of... It's not going to be on a second. That's dope. That's that's very, very fast. Yeah, swarm of drones gonna be falling out the sky. But it's it's just it's incredible like seeing like humanity like adjust and like they see, okay, well they see that war going on. Okay, this is how they're fighting. Okay, drones are gonna be a big part of the future. Okay, they're figuring out how to use cheap drones and destroy tanks and stuff with them. So like we've gotta figure out how to knock these drones out of the air, but at a affordable price you can't like i said you can't shoot missiles your air defense system should not be taking out these drones because you're losing a crap ton of money doing it that way so here you come with the lasers of april india entered an elite club of nations for the first time ever india showcased its futuristic warfare capabilities it fired a directed energy weapon in short a laser weapon the test was undertaken in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Dang. The Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, conducted the test. Oh, dang. Here's how it went down. DRDO officials brought out the laser weapon to the testing field. And then they launched the targets. First, a single drone was shot down. Then a swarm of drones were brought down. And all of this happened in the blink of an eye. Are you, serious? you blink, a swarm? you miss, but the laser doesn't. The weapon Dang. that was showcased is a 30 kilowatt directed energy weapon. It is developed and designed by the DRDO and is completely made in India. It is basically a laser with multiple cameras and sensors. Mm. The sensors and cameras first detect a target. This could be a single drone or a swarm of drones. Then the weapon fires quick bursts of light energy or lasers to cut through any target causing them to burst into flames. Dang, how much drones can it knock out? Because it said it threw a swarm of drones and knocked it out like, like that fast. So how much drones, how, how long does it take to knock out a single drone? And how long, I wonder, did it take to knock out that swarm of drones? Uh, I'm just very intrigued. I think this is like such a cool freaking weapon. Like, And shout out to India, bro. Like India... India is up there with the superpowers of the world. India is right up there in the club when it comes to a lot of weaponry, when it comes to a lot of things, India is in that room. Um, so India is in that room once again. India has now entered an elite group of nations. Mm -hmm. Only the United States, China, and Russia are known to use lasers to neutralize aerial threats. India is now the fourth, and this is just the beginning. The DRDO is planning on making a much larger laser weapon, which will also be put on warships and aircraft. And DRDO officials say it will be India's Star Wars-like capability. We are also working on other high-energy systems uh, like high-energy microwaves, electronic 
electromagnetic pulse. Ooh. So, so I have, wonder, like, can you make the laser strong enough to take out like a jet, like a like a F thirty five? Like, can you make the laser strong enough to take that out within seconds? Is my an intriguing question. We're working on several technologies which will give us the Star Wars capability. So why is this a big deal? Because drones have become the go-to weapons of choice. Yeah. They dominate the modern-day battlefield. They are cheap, reliable, agile, and deadly. But defending yeah. against drones remains a challenge. Oh. Militaries would often resort to anti-drone systems. These are large weapons that cost at least a few thousand dollars. They mm -hmm. use high frequencies and microwaves to bring down drones and they have something called as the cool off period which means that after yes. some time the anti-drone systems need a break mm -hmm. that is not the case with laser weapons mm -hmm. even though a laser is a concentration of extreme energy the system itself uses less energy to fire lasers I mean, compared to other anti-drone systems so the lasers themselves don't have if the laser doesn't have a cool off period that it needs it can just continuously like knock drones out of the sky without having a cool off that's so lasers can be fired at multiple targets and still not be at the risk of overheating. Wow. India wow. now has an effective solution to combating drones. That is bad news for its neighbors, particularly Pakistan. Yeah. In recent months, drone incursions in India's border regions have increased, oh. but deploying multiple jammers and anti-drone systems remains a challenge for Indian armed forces. So the laser weapon system is the answer and a big boost to India's defense arsenal. Greeting you with aloha and namaste. Yeah, I really think like that is freaking amazing. And I, like I said, India is just in that club when it comes to so many different things. Um, they're in the club with the, the big military superpowers of the world. Um, and it's kind of incredible to watch. Uh, you already got the space program, which is in that club, getting to NASA at the fraction of a price cheaper than it is to make a movie about going to NASA in the United States, which is bonkers. Um, but as they keep developing, they keep growing. Um, shoot, next 10 to 20 years, bro. Who knows what's going to happen? It's going to be intriguing. Uh, what do you guys think about this laser system? I literally thought it had to have like a little cool down period. But if it, if it can just continuously take drones out of the air, no cool down, no worry of overheating, my days, man, this is definitely a weapon of the future. And, and if it can do this, you definitely want to make it strong enough to take jets out of the air, I feel like. So um, that's all we have. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, check out the next one, and I'll see you guys next.